not necessarily reflect those of the advertisers, owners, or management of Pacific Telestations, LLC. For comments, opinions, and questions, please email Jess Lujan at jessthebuzz at gmail.com. The Buzz with Jess Lujan. Good evening, Guam. I'm Jess Lujan. Welcome to this edition of The Buzz. My guest this evening is, of course, Dr. Ron McNich, one of the analysts uh, last week in last week's election as we talked about local results as well as uh, uh, actually as the, the mainland results were coming back. But uh, anyway, um, uh, good evening, Doc. How are you doing? Uh, very good. Uh, half a day. Thank you so much. Well, um, legislature, the, the numbers stay the same, 9-6, uh, Democrat majority, but a lot of new faces. A lot of new faces. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when you have a pay raise is the position becomes very lucrative mm -hmm. and you have a lot of good competition. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, there, there, there are issues, there are a lot of different issues in regards to maybe why uh, people wanted to change, people really wanted to change. But are you saying maybe the, 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 the dominant factor of the, 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 cha the faces changing in the legislature is the, the pay raise issue? No, no, not at all. Okay. And don't get me wrong, the pay raise was a part of it, it just mm -hmm. wasn't a direct part of it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Indirectly, what the pay raises did is it increased the amount of money that people could make if they ran for the legislature, mm -hmm. but also it created a public expectation that the legislators should do more. Mm -hmm. And so then, a month before the election, the Fernandez issue comes up, mm -hmm. and they didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. And so this it created this this problem with among the citizenry mm -hmm. that they weren't doing anything. Mm -hmm. And then just the day before the election, mm -hmm. I mean, by the way, anyone can run any ad they want, sure, et cetera, sure. et cetera. But this was formal news mm -hmm. that they're mm -hmm. going to hold a hearing, oddly, two weeks ahead of time. They only had to announce it one mm -hmm. week ahead of sure, time. Sure. They announced it right the day before the election, mm -hmm. and it created a huge mm -hmm. negative mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for a number of the senators. Mm -hmm. And it really... Uh, diminished them very strongly mm -hmm. for that reason mm -hmm. because people were upset about the Fernandez issue. We polled it, we saw it, it was very clear. People weren't upset about pay. Mm -hmm. Pay was a, you know, a whiny thing that mm -hmm. people were mm -hmm. whining about mm -hmm. somewhat, but mm -hmm. that wasn't the big thing. Mm -hmm. now, now, let me let me ask you this. Now, you mentioned the Fernandez uh, the issue here, and I'm not going to ask you to comment one way or another whether you know the case or not. You're going to be you're going to be sitting in in, in Possibly in, in judgment of that, but but let me let me let me ask let me ask you this. Now, of course, the, you had the elected board. You have a couple new people. I, th I think there was only one or two two new people, but most everybody that ran six got elected. Okay, six got elected. Uh, you're, you're appointed uh, alongside um, uh, Mark Men Mendiola, who are appointed as well. Your confirmation hearing is is, is yet to be, uh, I guess, um, <laughs> scheduled. But let, let me let me ask let me ask you this now. Short of saying the board is the jury, basically they are. They, they, they will be the jury. You guys will be you sit in uh, and, and listen to I guess testimonies, and you would be the, the 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 jury. Now, the jury, which is composed of the majority of the the ones that got reelected, had already determined. So the jury the jury is has been out on it and came back with a finding. How can you come back now and have a a different find a different result from a uh, from supposedly the same finding without inclu including an initial finding as well? Because there, <clears throat> if I'm if I'm not mistaken in this, doc, the, these are alleg these were allegations that were brought up previously uh, as well, and were they were investigated. There was uh, there was negative findings in 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 all that. Second time around, uh, there were some findings in the investigation. So how now can you determine what is right versus wrong, sure. correct versus not? Sure. Here's what I think. Here, here's what I really believe. I think that the Guam Education Policy Board is probably one of the highest pressure, lowest paid most criticized boards on island. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we agree or disagree. I think yeah, you agree with yeah, me. Yeah. High pressure, low pay, high criticism. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so basically people who 
some of whom may not really have mm -hmm. a lot of technical training mm -hmm. or expertise. It doesn't matter whether mm -hmm. they, how long they've been doing it or how long they've been a board member or anything else. I'm mm -hmm. not criticizing that. What I'm trying to say is in these highly technical questions mm -hmm. that you have to deal with sometimes, is it fair to put them under that kind of heavy duty, duty light? Now, let, yeah. me, let me say, here's what I think. I think that the formula for board service is very, mm -hmm. very simple. Mm -hmm. And in fact, the governor called me. The governor asked me two basic things, actually three things. He said, please be transparent, please follow the law, and please watch out for our school kids mm -hmm. and, and their parents. That's what, those were the three things mm -hmm. he asked me. And so really, uh, you follow the law because you mm -hmm. know the law, you know the rules. And that includes his contract. Mm -hmm. That includes all the other sure. things. So you know the rules, you follow the rules mm -hmm. to, to a T. Now, I got to say, once a board's decided, let's say the board decided any extreme, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, particularly a negative outcome, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then certainly uh, people who are really well trained yeah. you know, can and, deal with it. And, and that's and, the and just in, in dealing with this, and then, you know, supposedly a public hearing uh, or a hearing, again, is a public hearing is, is going to be had. Um, I think in about a week or so. Yeah, and I'm uh, critical of that hearing. Yeah, and uh, I, I, I don't, I, you know, just judging on on his uh, 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 superintendent uh, Fernandez's uh, attorney, he's probably not even going to allow his 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 client to 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 sit in this in this hearing, not no asking for the details, and those t details haven't been haven't been uh, forwarded to 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 him. According yeah. to all available <laughs> information. There's nothing really the school board can do mm -hmm. decision-wise until all nine are back on board. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that'll be January at, yeah, at the very yeah, earliest. Yeah. So why, can we, can, <laughs> can we please be spared the drama during the holiday season? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not blaming anybody, but can't we just wait like a, a month or so until people get sworn in and then we take office? Now, I got to tell you, uh, the election results said it all about the school board. I think that... Um, well, you look at the results of the yeah. highest vote getter versus... Yeah. 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 Mr. Yeah. Adda, the chair, mm -hmm. topped. Mm -hmm. he, he, if we were looking at him, if we were comparing him to senators, the he senators? would have came in number, number four. Number four, yeah. Mr. Trogolov, uh, who's the critic of the superintendent, mm -hmm. who's making these motions, he would have finished at 25. 25. I think that says it all, public mm -hmm. opinion-wise, mm -hmm. what the public sees about this. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what? If I do have the good providence of serving on the school board, mm -hmm. I'm going to absolutely represent the young children that we represent and the parents. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna worry about critical, important things. I'm not gonna worry about other other things. Well, well you know, I, I, I'm hoping, Doc, then you're, you're gonna be serving the board that this doesn't set a precedence already on what the school is, I mean, what, again, the school and the school children are gonna go through um, in regards to, as you, as you said, wait till January, everybody uh, is legally on board, sworn in, and and move on, move on, uh, move on from there. And likewise, uh, when Mr. Fernandez is attorney, his questions just are answered as to, you know, <laughs> wait a minute, I, you know, it, this is this kind of reminds me of uh, uh, the, the Catholic Church. You know, well, well, wait a minute, you mean there's a hearing already going on? That the, you know, that, that's already happening. Well, who's doing that? Nobody's talked to my clients. Nobody, you know, <laughs> and, and all that. So I'm like, wow, really. Really? Sure. <laughs> that, that's what's going to happen? There is yeah. one other quick thing. The superintendent is a special employee mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. the Guam Department mm -hmm. of Education. Mm -hmm. He doesn't, he's not protected by the merit system. He's mm -hmm. not protected really by the civil service. He has a contract. Mm -hmm. And to be frank, there's no rush to hold this sudden hearing before there's a full board when they simply don't have the votes and the they votes, know yeah. they don't have mm -hmm. the votes. Mm -hmm. It's simply not healthy for our community mm -hmm. to, to do things that way. And by the way, I know I'm, I'm backseat driving or armchair quarterbacking here just like everybody else mm -hmm. is, but the reality is we have to look at the law, know the law, follow the law. That's what the goal is. And that's it. And I think that the election showed that, that Everyone. people were sick yeah. of this other drama. Mm -hmm. So um, quite, quite a few of the incumbents got out. What, your theory behind that? Sure. Uh, if you stack up the incumbents and you look at them, uh, to me, and, and I'm not trying to take snipes at the pay raise, mm -hmm. people sure, who think sure. that they, they have you know, vanquished incumbents. Mm -hmm. that had, to me, that had very little or nothing mm -hmm. to do mm -hmm. with, with this election other than the increase in pay increased their, mm -hmm. their competition, and they had hard competition mm -hmm. this time. Mm -hmm. 
Rare, rare, rarely have we seen this kind of competition for the legis Guam legislature. So if we look at who got in, who got out, if we look at, uh, first of all, I don't think Tina was knocked out. I think that she has a very strong chance of prevailing in the in the county Nevada. Based on the absentee balance. ballot, still not counted, right? Yeah. She's an incumbent. Okay. She has an edge. Mm -hmm. If she gains ten per one hundred mm -hmm. over mm -hmm. or, or less, actually, it's it's uh, 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 even less than that. She should be certified as mm -hmm. the winner of that mm -hmm. election mm -hmm. because it's so narrow. But we'll see. We'll mm -hmm. see what the re real sure, results sure, are. Sure. So it might have been six rather than seven. So that's okay. the first thing. So that leaves us with three and three. That leaves okay. us with three Republicans and three Democrats. Democrats yeah. Among the three Democrats, Roy Respicio was the majority leader. Mm -hmm. He took a lot of the pressure. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know that it's a pretty little bit of a detail and we'll go into it in a okay. second. Okay. I take a quick break, come back and talk about what happened in the election. Be right back.